that they cannot use your company to promote such messages. It is our commitment to this committee and all our users that we will keep this free from mm -hmm. any manipulation by any okay. government. If you can't say 100% certain, I take that as a no. Claiming my time, can you say with 100% certainty that ByteDance or the CCP cannot use your company or its divisions to heed content to promote pro-CCP messages for an act of aggression against Taiwan? We do not promote or remove content at the request yeah, of the, the question, Chinese government. The question, and is, we will replain the question is, are you 100% certain that they cannot use your company to promote such messages? It is our commitment to this committee and all our users that we will keep this free from mm -hmm. any manipulation by any government. If you can't say 100% certain, I take that as a no. Your technology is literally leading to death. Mr. Chu, yes or no? Do you have full responsibility for your algorithms used by TikTok to prioritize content to its users? Yes or no, please. Uh, Congressman, I'll, I'll just like to, if respectfully we don't mind, I'll just like to start by saying it's devastating to hear about the news of yes, as a yes, father myself. This is sir, yes or no? I'll repeat the question. Do you have full responsibility over the algorithms used by TikTok to prioritize content to its users? Yes or no, please? Uh, Congressman, we, we do take these issues very yeah, seriously. Yeah, yes or no? And we do provide resources for anyone who types in anything that Sir, is suicide. Sir, yes or no? I see you're not willing to answer the question. Promotes death and despair to kids. Now, as TikTok has grown, we've tried to learn the lessons of companies that have come before us, especially when it comes to the safety of teenagers. While the vast majority of people on TikTok are over 18, one of, and one of our fastest growing demographics are people over 35. We spent a lot of time adopting measures to protect teenagers. Many of those measures are firsts for the social media industry. We, for, we forbid direct messaging for people under 16, and we have a 16-minute watch time by default for those under 18. Last year, a federal judge in Pennsylvania found